Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for checking in. Um, I'm in the middle of another project and I said, let me make a video about it because people are always looking for cool ideas. I am making a basketball backboard. Now, not your typical one. It's going to be wood. It's going to be mounted on the house to play from in the pool. Um, mini backboard, basically. Your standard backboard is, you know, I don't know how the measurements of that, but the rim is 18 inches and a regular basketball is 12 inches, I think. I bought a rim that is 12 inches and a small ball that is only 7 inches. So if I'm in the pool, you can shoot hoops. Now you could buy one for the pool, they float in the pool, or ones that sit on the side of the pool that are like fiberglass, but it's not creative. And I like to build things and be creative. You know, as you can see from my yard, I built that planter box. You know, we just stained the fence a nice tone. I've, you know, I built things around here. So I want to have something unique. So let me show you where I'm putting it and I'll show you how I'm building it. So here's my pool. And basically right here between the door frame and that window, like right where that screw is sticking out of the wall, I'm gonna put the frame, the backboard. Now I only made it 21 inches high by 32 wide. So it's gonna fit in there with you know nice extra room. It's not gonna be oversized looking. And the rim will be about the height of that windowsill, which is low. It's only like, you know, five feet out here. But from in the pool, and this is the low end, the deep end's down there. So from the middle to the low end, you can shoot hoops. Creative and something different. All right, back in the garage. I'm sure you recognize this place by now if you've watched any of my other videos. Um, I was gonna go with one by sixes, which are actually five and a half by three quarters. Um, but it was a little too thick, and I didn't want to make the backboard heavy. You know, it's just going to be a rubber ball hitting it. It's like a regular basketball. It's not going to take a beating. So I wanted it to be nice and thin. So I'm actually using pallet boards that are five and a half. But the thickness, thickness excuse me, is only half inch, maybe just under. It's like an odd size. You know, pallet boards usually are like that. So the thinner is going to keep it more lightweight. Now, I've already started it before I decided to make the video. So let me show you where I am at in the process and then we'll, we'll go from there. So here's the backboard I've already started. 32 wide, 21 top to bottom. Now all I did to start was I took my boards. Now you could just take boards if you, the pallet boards I didn't have long enough. The one by sixes I would have just used four straight boards. But the pallet boards I had to have joints. So I got two boards on every row. Staggered the seam, you know, didn't really matter. I wasn't going for that look. But that's what I had, so that's what I went with. I didn't want to go out and buy any wood. Um, all I did was basically glue them together. I didn't use pot, um, pocket holes, you know, and pocket screws. Again, it's not going to take a beating. So basically started with my first row, wood glued them together. Then I wood glued the next row, and so forth. Basically left it all flat and they were all wood glued together. Real simple, real easy. So on the back, once the, my boards were all joined together, I took two by twos and I left them like, you know, a half inch short on each end. And I ran just inside the edges, don't have to run on the edges. So I ran one up one end, one up the middle, and one up the other end. I wood glued those on and then I screwed them on. I put one screw top and bottom on each. And then on the front side, I put a few screws straight in and I countersunk the heads and I wood filled and sanded over it. So when I'm in the pool, you're looking up at the backboard. I didn't, this is the bottom. I didn't want to see up under it. So I took a one by two and I filled the open space on the bottom and the open space on the top. So it's almost like a sealed interior in the back. Now for mounting, I put a small 2x2 two two square underneath, which is just 1x2 board, and then I ran a 1x2, excuse me, a 1x4 straight across, and those are going to be basically my mounting brackets. And what I will do is I'm going to drill you know, a decent sized hole on an upward angle here. 
and the same over here. And then on the house, I will have screws, let me show you, say in the house on an upward angle, and the backboard will basically just hang on it. So it's not permanently mounting it, it's not going nowhere if we need to take it off for a storm or anything. I just lift it off the hooks and it's gone. Bring it inside. And then of course, as I always do in anything I make, especially for the boys, put a little note made by dad, I love you guys, and the date. So you know, if God forbid anything ever happens to me or in the future, kids will see that, you know, and it'll be a nice little note from dad. Now I've been trying to figure out what color to make it. I know my backyard has like a cedar fence, cedar color. My patio table that I built is um, it's a little darker than cedar. So I do have in my you know my planter box is a combination like a tannish brown. So I have all wood tones back there, but I want to try to do something different. So I just did a little experiment with some gray stain and some white paint to try to get like a gray weather look. Here's how the board looks. I don't know how it comes out on camera. But it gives it that grayish white weathered, you know, like if the barn look if it was gray. And my house is yellow. I think this color would look good. All right, so I'm doing this with a rag. Make sure your board's clean. Again, with, with the rustic type looks, you don't have to have perfection, which always makes it easier to do the job. So I'm doing with white, semi-gloss exterior paint. And I'm kind of just... You know, just spread it thin. A little dab. And then I go with my gray stain. Try to see if it comes out like this. Go back to some white. And of course, you're going to see some of the wood tone coming through. You know, that's good. No problem. So it's not bad. I kind of like that look. Gives it that gray weather look. The rim came today, um, real easy install. You just lay it down, put the bracket right over it, four screws, and that's it. It folds up and it drops down. It's right at the bottom of the backboard. I went with the weathered gray look. I got the wall marked, and then we just gotta drill the holes to put the mounting screws. Now on my back, I just drilled two holes on a slight upward angle. One on that board, one on that board. Two, they're about four inch screws halfway in on a slight downward angle. Then they'll fit right into those holes in the back of the board. Here's the finished product mounted on the wall, poolside. Came out good.
Well, that's it, guys. Thanks for checking out the video. Another project in the books. Hope you liked it. Um, if you have any questions, you want to do one yourself, feel free to message me and I'll help you out. Um, didn't cost anything. I used pallet boards. It cost me 10 bucks to buy the rim. I think it came from China or something. Couldn't find anything locally. And that was it. So please like, share, subscribe. Check out my other videos. And um, thanks for watching. Bye.